And we are recording now. Action. <laughs> So of course you guys use what you can. If it doesn't apply to something that you do, that's fine. You don't have to change everything that you do. These are just suggestions. So first we're gonna go over just making sure that you use all the tools. Okay, so four. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I asked for that back, just so y'all know. Y'all make sure your camera's on. Like seven note, it says note takers are money makers. Sit up straight. Get right, get right, um, and give this all of your energy because you get the opportunity to learn consistently all the time for free. So let's make sure that we're taking advantage of it. You already paid your phone bill. You already got the Wi-Fi going. Might as well get your money's worth, okay? Um, so <laughs> using the tools. Y'all know Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. There's so many different, like, aspects that you can use. You can use the story posts. You can use the page posts. You can use hashtags, looking up hashtags, putting hashtags in your captions, in your comments, whatever. Um, you can have a business account. You can so search different locations. You can use your highlights. You can add to your highlights. You can use your likes and interaction. You can use all this stuff. Use every aspect. Write this down. Use every aspect of social media. It's free why not use your highlights they obviously created them for a reason they they be they made you able to tag a location for a reason they made you able to create hashtags for a reason story posts for a reason so use every single tool because like i said because it's free and then two it can help you grow your business all right so those are just a couple of the um things now we're going to individually go over every single one of these things so the first one is stories on Instagram, Facebook, like I said, whatever it is that you're um, using. Okay, so you guys, just to let you know, majority of my clients come from story posts. So page posts are going to be, of course, like, so you want to use it like this. So the story post is basically like how you have your um, store, like your Instagram is your store, your social media is always going to be your store. Your page posts are going to be like what your mannequins look like on the outside right? The mannequins that bring you into the store and make you want to come to the store. But your story posts are going to be like your actual clothes, the content that you have, what makes people excited to shop and to stay. So write that down. Your stories are what make people excited to shop. And when I say that, because you guys, a lot of the time we get into the habit of anybody, you can raise your hand. Anybody ever posted like a product by itself? It's like, oh, this is a product, and you post it on your story, and you'd be expecting somebody to purchase it. Like, everybody was posting immune essentials. Like, oh, my God, immune essentials. Drop a one in the chat if you don't post the product. Just the product. Not really nothing else. Not showing you using the product. You just posted the product, right? So, with that being said, on your story, you want to show as much personality as possible. So, if you're not a person that takes a lot of pictures that can go at your mannequin, meaning your bright pictures for your store, you still want to show people what you're doing throughout the day. Your stories are used for daily interaction. So that's where people are going to go to see what your day-to-day -day is like. And they want to see that you have a life with Herbalife in it. Like that people want to see that you have a life that includes Herbalife. So your stories are where people go to see your personality. Like for you to be yourself. Your stories are the best part of marketing. So in your stories, you want to do Action marketing, not attraction marketing. Action marketing, not attraction marketing. Attraction marketing is posting something that looked good. It's a pretty pose. It's a nice flyer. That's cool. But people actually want to see how you use the business. People want to see that you're on a call right now. You know, you take a quick boomerang of you being on the call. People want to see you in the morning making your tea. That's actually where I get my most clients from in the morning is making my tea or making my shape, showing that I'm not just showcasing you the products, I'm actually using them. You can tell people to buy products all day, but they actually want to see how you're interacting with your products. What is your interaction like with your team? What is your interaction like in your calls? So what you do is give them a preview of your life through your stories. In your stories, you want to be as relatable as possible, meaning that you're not, if you mess up, a, if you mess up, put, cool, still post it. Be like, oh, that was crazy. I done seen Annie drop like the tea, all types of stuff in a story post and still post it. And I used to try and make my story so perfect that I wasn't being relatable because it made it seem like I did every single thing perfect. And that's not the case. 
Your story shows that you're a human being. Your story shows that I'm not just telling you to use these products, I'm actually using them myself. Your story show how fun Herbalife is, the behind the scenes of the events, the behind the scenes of the cause, how you're working out, right? And so anything that's not as bright as possible, your best pictures, that's exactly what goes on your story. Your day-to-day -day interaction. Of course, we want to post a lot of that stuff on our page, but again, your page is your mannequin. What do you see when you go outside of the store? You see the best broadcasted thing. But when you go inside, it's some hidden gems in there. You ever go find a t-shirt in the back, you'd be like, dang, I didn't even know they had this. That's what your story is for you. Somebody can be like, oh my God, I didn't even know she had animals. I didn't know she had a baby, da 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 I didn't know that this is how you could use Prolessa. I didn't know it was this easy to make tea in the morning. I'll give you guys a perfect example. On my story post, I promote something called a flat tummy flush. Everybody's going crazy. They's like, what's a flat tummy flush? I see it on your story every day. You say you do it before bed. You wake up, you say after flat tummy flush. I'll post my stomach and say after my flat tummy flush. And this is just in a story. And what's a flat tummy flush? It's a word that I made up, right? For active fiber, tea, aloe, and probiotic. That's it. But in your story, you make it so interactive, like I'm, I'm taking my flat tummy flush now in the morning, I'm taking it again at night, taking my products, I'm about to go work out. I have a, a tab team called, what's tab team? Top achievers of the business, can't wait to do this. Oh my God, preparing for this. So people are going to your story every single day to look for your interaction. So outside of that, this is also where you can tell your 30 second story, showing people that you're not this perfect in shape person that you actually, did something else like you actually came from a place you have a before the scene and not just the before and after maybe showing them how you first looked when you first worked out versus how you look now also if you have over 10,000 followers you can use the swipe up action where you can swipe up for people to do a wellness profile and there's never too many negative stories i mean never too many stories keep your story going right not saying just post a whole bunch of pointless stuff but show people that they want to be a part of your life you want to do this Herbalife thing because it's fun. You want to do this Herbalife thing because it's a relatable. You want to do this Herbalife thing because I didn't know shakes tasted this good. You want to do this Herbalife thing because you can post in your story and say, oh my God, I just had a white Snickers. And everybody going to be like, you eat a Snickers in the morning? And you can say yes. Right? It's a shake. Um, last but not least, you guys, no negativity. You don't want to be that bipolar person because it makes you come off as fake happy. If you're having a bad day, probably not the day to go into your stories, but that goes into consistency. Meaning, one day you don't want to see five stories, and then the next day no stories, and then the next day 10 stories, and then the next day zero stories, and then the next day 50 stories. Figure out what your 100% is. My 100% is probably about 20 stories a day. I make my tea in the morning, I show my workout, I show my meal prep, whatever it is that you're going to do, and these are just examples of story posts. But find out what your 100% is so that you can do that. So I'll give you guys a list of story posts that you can do if you don't have any idea. Um, so number one is your morning routine. It could be how you make your bed in the morning, showing that you have your first win of the day. It could be making your shake, tea and aloe. That's your morning routine. Number two is showing you doing personal development. I personally always boomerang my tea and um, maybe like the YouTube plan so that you can see that I'm growing my mind. Y'all, these are things that you're going to do anyway. <laughs> you're just you're going, showing people you're doing them. Right, you're already, it's not, it's, it's not taking like a lot extra out of you. You're already gonna wake up and do your regular morning routine. And if you're not having consistency with your morning, there we go, boom, we need to start. You gotta do the same thing the same way. If you're not already doing personal development, boom, there we go, that's where we need to start and then start going in, but I just wanted to add that, go ahead. Um, number three is just showing some type of healthy activity. So that could be some type of working out. Um, it could be maybe you doing a jump rope. It could be you doing yoga. I've seen some people do yoga on their story and they do it in a time lapse. It looks so cool. Number four is showing some type of behind the scenes of Herbalife. And when I say behind the scenes, meaning how you're growing your business. It could be some follow-ups from your clients, some screenshotted messages. Um, number five is, of course, something fun and relatable. 
Um, you could be dancing, you could be making a joke, you could be posting a TikTok, right? Just normal stuff that you do throughout the day. It could be your kids acting up or being doing whatever they do, <laughs> your uh, pets, whatever the case may be. Um, number six, again, showing how easy you can use the products. Um, I always like seeing on Tay's page, she shows London making the products with her. So these are just some examples, you guys. And of course, just invite, invite, invite. Invites can be through your story. Message me now. Um, showing wellness evaluations um, through the message me if you would like to do a wellness evaluation, showing different things. So I'm going to give you guys a story interaction um, example. This is a wellness evaluation um, that took place on Instagram. So I basically posted and said, I'm doing free wellness evaluations. Um, message me if you would like to do one. And that's just a message me because some people are afraid to talk to you on your actual page post. So they will DM you though. So of course she said, I'm definitely trying to have that conversation if it's not too late. So my response is always ready. What are your main goals, love? So with that being said, um, her Instagram like had her name in it. So I already knew her name and she started to tell me her goals. And I always ask for recent pictures. Um, if I'm doing a wellness evaluation via DM, um, just so that they, I can go ahead and be relatable, meaning I'm not offering you products until I see what you look like. So I'm customizing a plan for you. Um, so then, of course, I always like to be relatable, like give them some type of compliment, like, girl, you're hilarious, what's your eating like? Um, so then we go into like, what you're eating like is, of course. And then she tells me about like oatmeal and stuff like that. And then we start getting to the real things, you guys. So people will ask questions in your DMs like, so the shakes really do keep you from eating meals. I'm a diehard foodie. And that's where you get to put in the love for your products. Um, so of course, it's a meal replacement. You'll be placing, replacing the meals, but you can also put the shakes in your oatmeal. I'm showing her how you can do the shakes still <laughs> with what you're already saying you do every day. You love oatmeal. You can make them into, pro uh, make them into pancakes and just so much more. Um, and just being relatable in your DMs, guys. And the reason why I put this wellness evaluation on here is because this girl actually seen me in Kroger and like she wanted to meet me so bad. But through my story, she actually finally asked me about the products. So meaning that she followed my page and she knew who I was. But when she started seeing my story, she felt more relatable to talk to me versus I've actually seen her out in public taking a picture with her. She signed up at a PM after this and we got her on product. She's in a challenge now, but she seen me out in public, didn't know how to talk to me or whatever, but she was comfortable for me being relatable in my story. Can I get a thumbs up if everybody with me? Cool, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the next thing, which is page posts. And we're gonna both attack this y'all because y'all know Seven is like, queen of Inst I mean, not Instagram, queen of social media in general, um, and definitely page posts. So make sure y'all are like, whatever you got to do, shake it up a little bit, sit up, like drink a sip of tea, because it's a lot of information I already know, um, but it's really, really good information to make sure that you guys can take it to your business. So um, like she said, another resource that you can use on Instagram, of course, is um, page posts, right? Cool. What that is, is of course, just like this. I'm going to go to the picture so you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are two really, really good examples, female example and male example of page posts. Your actual on your feed, okay? So the first thing is making sure, hold on real quick, y'all. Making sure that your pictures have quality. Always, 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 always having quality. Like that is the most important thing that could possibly be on your page is your pictures being of quality. Basically meaning attractive, no crazy clutter, super bright. That's supposed to say bright, it says bright, but you know what I mean. <laughs> super bright, 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 bright. Um, inviting and intentional. Not no like, I'ma just post this just because I was told on my 90 day plan, it says to post something today, so I'm gonna post it. No, take time and actually think your post out, plan them out. Like, you already know on Thursday you need to, you're, you're not need to, but you're gonna wanna post a thankful Thursday. Cool, start thinking about what you're grateful for right now. What can you go ahead and put, it's Tuesday. What can you go ahead and put in your drafts or already have ready to post for thankful Thursday? Work out Wednesday, or if you do business posts on Wednesdays, whatever your schedule looks like, but actually like start thinking of your intentional post, not sitting there. I don't know if y'all have ever done this before, but let's be completely honest. Have you ever sat with your phone, going through your phone, your camera roll for a whole entire 30 minutes looking for something to post? <laughs> Corinne laughing. And then took another 30 minutes to post the caption to? 
Let's end that. It's a time killer. It's a time thief. It's procrastination. Go plan it out right now. And then, of course, another thing that you want to think of when you're looking at your page is, would you actually go click follow on your page if you saw it? Would you actually go um, uh, DM you if you saw your page? If Matter of fact, type a one in the chat if you've done DM dives, quote unquote, or reached out to people in the past 24 hours. I'll type a one too for myself. If you've done DM dives in the first, in the last 24 hours, which is probably a lot of people. <laughs> so my next question for you is, when, the per when, you, when someone DM dives you, the first thing that you do is what? Go click on the person's page. Who is this? What they want? You doing lashes, sis? You want to know my number? What? Who is this? Let me go click on them. And then what you make your, in, your impressions, you make your judgments both based off what that page looks like. People do that to you. Okay? So if, I was to, if you were to go to your own page right now, would you reply back to your own DM? Would you be like, yeah, I'm interested in losing some weight. Yeah, I'm interested in getting a health result. Yeah, I want you to be my coach, whatever your DM dive said to the person. Start really looking at your page and asking yourself that. Am I, am I even attractive to my own dang self? <laughs> okay, and the next um, little block that's on here says lifestyle post. And that's pretty much, this is a, what I like to call a post bank. And it's pretty much, okay, what am I posting? So me and Seven follow this um, pretty much every single day. And we choose about, I guess, three to five pictures, I'd like to say. Um, of course, y'all, this is a buffet. Take what you want. I personally say that it needs to be at least one page post per day. My personal thing. New people, old people, whatever. Because it creates that consistency and it builds your online free store. So, and what I, well, what I say by post bank is you can click, I mean, you can choose anything out of these six. So the first one is a cleaned up, dressed up picture meaning showing people that you do something other than work out. <laughs> so you have on clothes, you have a movie date, you're going out, whatever it is, you showing your body off in a dress, whatever it is, but showing people that you are like a regular human being too. Um, and there's two reasons for that. One, you want people to know that you're a regular human, but two, mainly because when people join this business, a lot of people are not only workout freaks. Some of your business partners that you're gonna bring into the business are gonna wanna do more than just work out. You need to show that you're actually, you, you can do this business and not be a gym freak. Like I, I sometimes I'd be like, I can't post another video of me slamming ropes and jumping on this and doing that and blah, 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 because then people are going to not be relatable to me. And I want everybody to feel relatable to me. Y'all get what I'm saying? So that's the cleaned up, dressed up. Two is a transformation post, skin result, um, transformation, mental transformation post, a before and after of yourself a before and after of your client, um, business partner, whatever the case may be. I like when people do the picture of like me and seven together. Oh, swipe left for her results. I like that. Um, of course, we're mixing this up though. Not a whole bunch of transformations. Bad, 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 bad. Y'all know when you go to someone's page and you see a whole bunch of stuff that you don't like, don't go mirror that. Mirror the things that you do like. And we're going to go, seven's going to go over that too on the um, next slide. But anyways, the third one is a healthy, active lifestyle. Something showing you live in a healthy, active lifestyle. Climbing up a mountain in the gym, eating an apple, yoga post, whatever the case is, um, a picture of you with your Herbalife products. The fourth one is something with a family member, spouse, kids, pet, um, team, team post, like a business post. That could be that. Um, number five is a product post. Something with you, I y'all know, shake selfies, tea selfies, you and your rebuilding your gains, like um, <coughs> the skincare, mix it up. Like mix it up, have fun with it. This is the reason why we try a new product every month because you could have a product post pretty much for every day if you really wanted to. We got plenty of products. I could post about sleep now, right now. And it could just be a picture of me. You get what I'm saying? So switch it up and be super creative with it. Your captions are everything on that. And then the sixth one is just something motivational, something, um, maybe it could be a quote, it could be a positive quote, it could be something motivational, um, anything like that. But that's the post bank, pretty much where your posts are coming from now, like I said, I'm gonna pass it to seven so she can go over these examples. And I know y'all gonna hear this a thousand and one times on this call, but be consistent. Be consistent with all of these things. You can't do it one or two times, like seven said with the Instagram stories. You can't post five posts today. 
10 posts tomorrow, 20 on Wednesday, because it was a lit day, and then back to none, because my boyfriend pissed me off. No, nobody cares. When you don't post, your business is closed. When you do post, your business is open. If you're gonna be using social media to grow your business, I'm gonna say it again. When you don't post, your business is closed. People look at that, and they judge you off of that. It is what it is, y'all. <laughs> Make sure that you're keeping your business open. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go over some examples of some page posts. Uh, for one, it would definitely be to make sure that you don't have a private page. Um, so if you do have a private page, it, um, just in business in general, um, and when I say these things, just to give you all some background, I've built my, I built my hair business and my, um, and my Herbalife business all via social media. Um, so I basically ran every business that I've built via social media for years. Um, so you want to make sure that your page isn't private because if it's private, what it does is makes people feel like they have to wait to get access to you and they'll go to the next person. So you want to make sure that from the front that your page is beautiful, it's bright, and it's inviting. So that's why I was saying just make sure you screenshot your page so that you can see what it's like. And have you ever went to somebody's page and if you're posting a whole bunch of Herbalife products and a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't show you, then when I go to your page, um, what that looks like is that I'm, I'm selling, I'm signing up just for a product. I'm not signing up for you. And I can get, people want to get with people, not products. With social media, people are getting sold to people, not products. Meaning that they don't care about necessarily at first the product that you have. They want to know who you are as a person because they can get the product from anybody. They can literally get the product from anybody. You can type in hashtag Herbalife and find any Herbalife distributor but you want your page to be that attractive page. I personally say make sure that your post on your page, remember this is what the mannequin looks like on the outside, it's very bright. If you do not edit your pictures, and I'm not saying move your stomach around, not that type of editing, that's what your products, not that type of editing, we're not doing that, okay? I'm talking about fixing the brightness, adding in color, get, get with your sponsor on that, um, get with your sponsor on that, I went to mine, Steven. But get like um, a Lightroom is a good app to use to brighten up your pictures. It's so much that you could do. If you just add in a little brightness, it changes the whole picture. Um, making sure that your camera is wiped off, you know, these types of things. And what you want to do with your social media pages is copy the right cat. Find three people that do Herbalife that you like their post. And then find three lifestyle people that you like and mimic their post. And when I say mimic their post, um, I mean that like, for instance, yes, it's called Lightroom. When I say mimic their post, I mean, and it sounds like a job, but if you wanna work social media, it takes more than just dropping a post and thinking that you're getting clients. You're literally building up your page. Meaning, I literally plan out what I'm gonna do. I'm like, hey, Annie, later on, I need to take a business picture so that I can make sure I have invites to HOM tomorrow. I'm gonna make sure I change into my robe because I seen this picture on so-and-so's page. I wanna mimic it and make it my own. Today, I know I need to take a picture with my products because I haven't had a picture with my products in a long time. I'm gonna take a picture after the gym with Rebuild. And these are planning out your page and it's nothing wrong with literally planning out your social media because again, social media is like a job. Like you have to make sure that everything is very intentional. Like you have to make it make sense and you want it to be the best that you have on there. When you go outside a Nike store, you don't know that that outfit is $300. You just know that you want it. You've seen it out front, it's on the mannequin, the mannequin like this, out in the front, you know y'all see it, the mannequin be like this. Out in the front, you be like, okay, I want that. So with that being said, you have to make sure that that's what your page looks like. So I put a picture of a male's page and a female's page, you guys. Um, with women, I'm going to just be honest, we have it a little bit harder because you want to have to make sure that you can relate to more than one audience. No, you, you can revamp your page day by day. You don't have to complete a whole new page. No, we're not doing that. We're just starting over day by day. Yeah, so when I started, I'll, I'll give some feedback on that. When I started to like really like study social media and really start being better, I did not delete anything off my page. I just started being better. <laughs> um, and the reason why is because I want people to see the journey that I actually had. You get what I'm saying? So if you scroll down, you'll be scrolling for a long time because of the consistency with the post. But if you scroll down, all my old stuff is still there because it's a journey, y'all. People want to know that you're a human. You don't want to delete your Instagram. I don't want you to go make a whole new one. I don't want to fitness pic. 
no shade, but fitness page versus a regular page or whatever the case may be. You're one person, man. This is life. Um, I know some people have to do that, but the moral of my story is let it's part of your journey. So leave it as is and just be better. Implement what you want to implement. Um, women have it just a little bit harder because you want to make sure that you're relatable to all audience. And like I said, it's a buffet. Take what you want, leave what you don't. It's some things that you can post that comes off professional to some women and it wouldn't. So I just make my page very age friendly um, from the front. Like it's very age friendly. Like if somebody's, um, I have clients that are teenagers, like if their mom came on my page, it would still be very appropriate for them. Um, so just making sure that I give off that type of energy, you guys. And then you see on the right hand side, it's a male's page. As you can see, it's kind of like that thing that you would be like, okay, I would want to sign up with him if I was a man or woman. Like I'm like, okay, I'm inviting to this page. This page is bright. Sometimes you want to um, use the same filter over and over again. So your page has some type of consistency, but just very inviting and consistent. As you guys can see, one page is a transformation. One is a fitness. One is a product post. Um, it's a work from home post on there. It's a dressed up, cleaned up post on there. So you want to do these things. And I say on your page, bring Herbalife into your life. Bring Herbalife into your life with your product post, meaning that if I go to your page, I don't know what I'm coming to it for exactly, but I see it's something you can help me. But I'm not in product overload where I feel like I just went to a page that sells Herbalife and that's it. And so on the right hand side, I'll go over Adonis's page, you guys, as well. Um, uh, his Instagram is like Adonis Fitness. Steven's page is one to really look good at as well. I'm not sure if y'all got like that presidential camera to do. I, I personally ain't, I ain't got it yet. But the presidential camera for like the photo shoots and stuff. But as you can see, something cooking, something hanging out with the guys, a fitness and lifestyle post, a nutrition club post. But what I want you guys to notice is that there is no product without intention. Like there's no nothing on here that is like a product flyer. That's the biggest key. There's no product fire on here that say buy rebuild now, buy immune essentials right now. It literally gives you, hey, this is who I am as a person. You can learn more about products and stuff on my story. That's what we want to give off. So we'll go into um, captions, you guys. And just like Annie said, if you already like sleep a little bit, wake up. It's a lot of information to take in, but it'll definitely help you grow your social media business. And as y'all have questions, thank you, Brittany, for asking, Nakia, for asking. As y'all have questions, feel free to type them in the chat. There's no, like, we want to help as much as possible. Um, and just remember that this is a buffet, so you do not have to take anything that we're saying. These are just some things that we're personally doing that's working for us, okay? So captions, that was one of the resources. Again, positive, clean language, of course. Um, just like Seven just said, you want to be able to reach everybody. You don't want to be able to reach only 18 to 25. You want to be able to reach corporate at 35. You get what I'm saying? Like you want to be able to reach everybody. Um, super relatable and understandable. Call to action on your post, meaning like inviting people to do something. Something for them to do once they read this. Once they got the value from the caption, now what do I do type of thing. Um, and non salesman need. If you have to ask yourself, does this sound like a salesman? One, ask a sideline, ask an accountability partner, ask somebody, um, and then use your best judgment. People don't join product, okay? I don't know what kind of cycle I had right there, but it's supposed to say product. People don't join product. People join people. People want to feel, know, like, and trust you before they sign up, okay? That's the reasons why people sign up. They either know you, they like you, or they trust you, or all three. You can create that through Instagram as a whole, because I'm pretty sure there's downline on this call right now who did not know me whatsoever. They didn't like me, but they trusted me for whatever reason. Or my mom, she knew me, but she might not have trusted me in her life yet. You get what I'm saying? There's all different reasons why people sign up, but through Instagram, you can create, you can build all three. Um, and like I said, through things like this, being yourself, people wanting to join you as a person, not wanting to join the product. So there's three examples on the right side of this. Um, the first one is a, the picture that goes with this caption is a picture of me when I had got my car and I pretty much, if y'all read the caption or screenshot it and read it later, I'm pretty much just enrolling people into my journey through a caption. Um, like, and that's just is what it is. I'm being very, very, um, what's it called? Transparent. I talked about the fact that my credit score was super duper low. 
Um, and the fact that I'm able to, I, I'm pretty much showing what the opportunity is doing without saying, join me in the business, please. Oh my God, please. You want to earn some money? Come join me, join me, join me, join me. No, I'm actually showing, like Seven was saying, this is me showing, this is what this business is doing for me. Actions speak louder than words. And I'm just putting it, like I said, into words so that you can feel my journey through me, through me, with me. Okay, the next picture is a, it was actually goes with a picture, um, next caption, sorry, is a picture of a shaken tea. Um, asking a call to action, what shake y'all think is mine? People commented on the picture, telling what shake they thought was mine. And how do they know what shake I like? Because I post it on my story all the time that Seven is addicted to white Snickers. These are things that I'm just posting on my story. I'm not saying, oh my God, get this meal replacement shake right now. I'm being myself and talking about seven liking white Snickers. So people actually commented and said, well, we know this is white Snickers is seven. So moral of me saying that y'all is be yourself. Um, and then of course, not non-salesman. I just put a small hint of what the meal replacement shake does in there. And the reason why is because in your captions, you want to add value to people. How can this help them? Why is this helping them? Now someone just learned that the shake was less than 300 calories and it has no sugar. Mm, might want to hop on that. You get what I'm saying? So you want to add value in your captions. And then I'll let Seven go over her um, caption on her third picture. Um, so you guys, just to let you know, most the majority of my um, distributors, like my anybody that's on my team for anybody that's new, all came from social media. I actually just have, um, I had somebody today that hit um, active supervisor Lamar, and it all came from social media, every part of the business. She actually seen me at Extravaganza, and like I said, behind the scenes of Herbalife, she was like, I wanna be a part of that as well. Am I able to do that? So those are the type of things that you wanna do. So of course, has anybody seen that post that say, um, anybody wanting to earn two to $500 every day from getting healthy, uh, follow me, uh, message me now? I've, I posted that before. Anybody post it? Drop a one in the chat if you posted that. One. Yeah. So only reason the thing about it is we get the opportunity to be fully transparent with people about what they're actually doing. Why? Because if I have to finesse you to get in the business, I'm going to have to finesse you to stay. Does it's that not make sense? Genuine. It's not it's, genuine. Right. So this is a um, way that I decide to do my HOM invite. I always post something with my team. And if you say come to HOM, first of all, nobody knows what that means. Herbalife opportunity meeting open house, our open house tonight, um, join the team call, whatever it is that you want to call it. So it was a team, a picture of um, me and my team. And it says, my vision has always been, has always, has been and always will be clear, allowing women the space to be themselves, design the life that we dream of, but that we can turn into reality. I love being able to show my team, whatever it is that you want in life and pray about, go after it. The sky isn't, I don't even know what that was supposed to say. It isn't even a limit because she can have it all. Top qualifiers event for the team. Um, with some of our top producers, drop a comment for the link to our online house, open house tonight and join us and earn extra income. And the reason why I say that is because if I tell you, you can make two to $500 from getting healthy, that's not true. Because you're going to get healthy regardless because you're going to take your products, but I can't force you to do the business. But what I can show you is what I'm doing on my page, which isn't like super say no weird stuff. I can show you what I'm doing on my page, having fun with my team members. And these are some of the top qualifiers that I'm hanging out with and you can join us. So your open house or real life opportunity meeting, whatever it is that you want to call it, you just want to ensure that you're inviting. That's the action caption, inviting, drop a comment. And we'll go over why it says drop a comment, but you always want people commenting on your page. So we'll go over that, but you always want some type of call to action to your page. So this is literally something that can have you inviting more team members because now it doesn't sound like, because what if I'm not healthy, but I need some money? I'm not, I don't want to earn $500 from getting healthy because I don't want to be healthy right now, but I want to know what you're doing. Right? So with that being said, you guys, and just make it sound like, you know, your community, but just making sure that you're genuine and that your captions actually make sense and they have intention. Um, working social media, you guys. So like, again, like we said, it's not about the stuff you sell, but the stories that you tell. People can get Herbalife products from anybody. We have to understand why we're getting them from you. It has to make sense. So with that being said, these are some of the things that you can do. And again, you guys can screenshot so that you have these things. 
We don't care about y'all sharing this slides. It's perfectly fine. Intentional DM diving. We'll go over what a DM dive is, but basically you talking to people's social media and your messages, following up with likes, those transformation pictures that you drop, if somebody's liking them, we should be talking to them. Answering polls, meaning that you drop a poll on your um, page and then you go back and follow up with them. A private message and comments to other people. Searching hashtags that are close to you or your nutrition club. Searching locations to gyms. Um, increase your engagement by following your insight map. We'll go over the insight map. Um, and interact with people that are interacting with you in any way, meaning that you're not seeming like you're just some social media big boss, but you actually talk to people. Um, be yourself, of course. No assumptions. Reach out to everyone. And we're going to go over some DM dives from that any actually had. Okay, so these are actually some, actually the one on the right is mine, um, but I believe the one on the left is Mackenzie's. Yep, I actually grabbed this out the chat because it was really, really good and simple. So these are sort of say like follow-up. So like Seven just said, if you post a transformation, transformation picture, understand people are liking it for a reason. They like it, literally. <laughs> they like it it interests them it either inspires them or they feel good about it or they they actually like like the way it looks whatever the case is so be intentional so as you can see in this um dm he said hey what's up thanks for the follow he noted he um acknowledged the fact that the person likes his picture and that what i really liked is he said how's your healthy active lifestyle going um which then you, this conversation could have went any way. But the thing is, he didn't like send a couple of things to look at. He didn't send some super long message that nobody's gonna read. <laughs> um, and I was somebody that used to send super long messages wondering why I never got replies. Also, and I'll be completely honest with you guys, before I joined the business, um, for those of you who don't know, my original sponsor was my boyfriend at the time, he ended up signing me up. But before I even asked him about the business aspect, because I was already using the products, I had somebody DM dive me. I wish I could screenshot the, the, the I mean, I wish I would have put it on here. But they DM dive me this super long thing. And the person who actually did it was Baba. If you don't know Baba and Alex, I believe they're 15 papers. Moral of the story is, um, they, I didn't even reply. I just opened it up. And I didn't reply because I was like, what is this? This sounds like copy and paste. It sounds like I you don't really care about the things that you're saying that you care about. Um, and it, that it wasn't genuine. How, what the difference is with this is, he asks, how are you doing? You always want to ask a question at the end because it invites people to reply. The end of her message said, let me know, get back to me if you can or something like that. I also got um, DM Dive, I'll let you guys know, uh, prior to to join the business. And this is just so that you can be able to know to ask the right questions. It was just, I can make you some money right quick off your fitness post. You can make some money off your fitness post. You can make some money. And at the time, I was earning anywhere between ten to $15,000. I don't care about making money right now. But the person I actually did get into the business with, she was just like, girl, we can dress up and have fun. Literally, same exact <laughs> Same exact invite, basically, but two completely different ways. Just understanding the person that you're talking to, and you don't have to necessarily throw money at people. You don't have to have the long messages in my DM, because the girl literally DM me every single time I drop the fitness post, like, girl, you can make some money off this. You can make some money off this. And I'm just like, okay, that I don't want to do that. And if the DM guy would have been like, hey, you know, I got a positive community to hang out. If you want to, you know, I see you work a lot. What, what, do you ever have a day off? I probably would have been like, all right, cool, I'm with it. Just an example of how a DM dive can go, like she said, either way. So just be super mindful. Um, the one that's on the right, y'all, this, I, I purposely put this one on here because it's from 2017. To show you that ain't nothing changed. <laughs> it's all about consistency. This is my DM dive, right? Quote, unquote, if you want to call it something else, cool. From 2017, I did a like follow-up. I asked a question at the end. We went from there. This person is now a supervisor in my organization. I mean, the reason why is because she sent me a whole bunch of people that were in the army with her, and I said, okay, cool. Let's talk about how we can earn you some income. We're gonna get you on the products. I, I, showed, I put the vision on her. I showed her how she could earn income, and we went from there, and she's now a supervisor, and she's still in the army, okay? And the moral of the story is, Stay consistent with whatever it is that you're doing because we still do literally the same exact things. That was three, exactly three years ago.
I mean, it's the same exact thing going on. So that's just a couple examples of like follow-ups. Pay attention in the chats because people drop their conversations clearly because I just stole McKenzie's out the chat. People drop their conversations all the time and you can actually learn something from them. But just two things to remember on here, always leave off with a question so that people actually have something to reply to. Um, this is an, another example. I thought I took this off here, but whatever. Um, this is another example of uh, another DM dive from someone being a new follower. If you have a new follower, understand that people follow you for a reason. Same thing with liking your post. They followed you for a reason. They seen your page, they liked it. They were like, okay, cool, I wanna keep up with this person. That's what following people on social media is, keeping up with their life. Being, seeing the posts that they do. When people follow you, they're following you for a reason, okay? So I've reached out to this person. It's actually Tyler, um, first cut active supervisor, second cut on the way. Um, so again, you see how this can go. I said, thanks for the likes and supporting me. How are you? Again, ended off with a question. I seen that she had a lot of fitness pages. I already knew she was in the, I mean, a, a lot of stuff on her page. So tip, tip here, look at people's pages. Don't go DM diving somebody the whole time they're a coach. Look at people's pages because people be DM diving us and we'll be like, whoa, did you even look? <laughs> go look at people's pages, go relate to something on their page. I seen that she was training people. So I said, do you use any specific protein for yourself or your clients? Okay, I already knew what was going on. And then you can see her, in, her answer went from there. Follow-up went from there. She ended up signing up as a coach a couple of months later. Stay consistent and stay the course. Because we had this conversation in February. Tyler can correct me if I'm wrong. She signed up as a distributor, I believe, in July or June. Um, consistency. Consistency. Plant the seeds and then water them with your consistency. Poll follow-ups. Another couple of examples. Y'all can just screenshot these. These are also in the chat. Um, and these are two different ways that this can go. I personally do not like the second one. And let me tell you why, because it doesn't have a question at the end. So I wanted to show y'all two different examples. It just says, let me know if you have any questions. This might on the right be something that I would actually ignore. I don't know, but that's just personally me. But you get to figure out what works for you. How do you figure it out? By doing it. You do it, you see, okay, I DM 100 people, I got three replies. Let me see what I can do differently or whatever the case may be, but continue and be, and be super duper consistent with it. At the end of the one that's on the left, I said, what are your fitness goals? First off, you're beautiful and I love your body. Like, be yourself, be genuine. If this person is also now a supervisor in the business, no cap, her body looks really, really good. <laughs> and I went and I told her and I showed her what she could do with the business, I showed her what she could do with the products, and then we went from there. And now her, her girlfriend is also in the business as well. So these are just a couple of examples that we wanted to show y'all. You can go ahead. Oh, this is about to happen. Okay, so um, social media is your store. If y'all ever find, follow Stephen, he says this a lot as far as like making sure you comment and stuff like that, building your Instagram algorithm. Understand, unless you go viral, there is no way that you're going to grow your social media overnight. And even if you go viral, I've literally seen people go viral and still have 700 followers. It's happened. So you're not gonna grow your social media overnight, so you have to understand that. It's not gonna happen overnight, but you can get 1% better on your social media every day. Comment on others, interact with others, post because your business means that it's open. So I'm gonna go over this last thing here, you guys. Um, like I said, I've been growing my social media for a long time, so my impressions normally go anywhere between 500,000 to a million. And I say that because your impressions and your interactions with your page matter more than how many followers you have. And this is when you switch over to a business account and you can just screenshot this. When you switch over to a business account, you have something that is called insights. So what's best to do for your insights is to go and look and see when your most activity is, when's the best time to post your content, and what your uh, impressions are because your goal is to always have these things with a positive next to them okay so when it says profile visits as you can see the profile visit says ten thousand, and you want people to be clicking on your full profile meaning that they see that beaut that um bright beautiful picture and they actually click on your profile you want people to be interacting on your page and this is why it's important 
Um, and I'll go ahead and stop and share so that y'all can see me. This is why it's important to actually have comments on your page, things that lead with action steps, because what it does is your interactions being higher shows you more on people's page. So some of you guys' pages is not that you don't post good content, is that nobody can see your page. So if you're inconsistent with Instagram or Facebook, for instance, meaning that you don't post a lot in your stories, if you don't post a lot in your stories, you won't come up on people's story feed, okay? If you don't post on your social media between one to three times per day, you won't come up on anyone's Instagram. Meaning that people have to go to your page to like your stuff and you won't be on their timeline. That's why it's very important to be consistent. So you want to be able to grow these impressions daily because what you do when you grow your impressions is if you have higher impression days, it starts making you show up on like the explore page. It makes it so that when people refresh their top line, their timeline that you're at the top and it makes it so that when people refresh your stories that you're at the top in the story box. Does that make sense? Can I get a thumbs up from everybody? Can I get a one if you only post? Actually, can I get a zero if you post zero times a day like it take a lot for you to post? You can be honest. Drop a zero if you post every once in a while. Can I get a one if you post at least one time a day? I, need, I just need to know who I'm talking to. At least one time a day. If you post three times a day, can you drop a three? And I'm talking about page post. Page post, page post, page post. Got it. So um, Kayleen's page I've actually seen in my, um, my timeline. And I'll tell you, I follow a lot of people on this call and I can't see you guys on my timeline because you don't post. I'm going to use Hero as an example because he's a millionaire, 7.5 member on the way to press. He probably won't care if I make fun of him. I literally have to go to Hero's page to see if he posted something. Like I have to like go click on it, type it in to go see versus him coming up on my timeline because if you don't post enough, I can't see you. So if you don't post enough, your clients can't see you. Nobody can see you. And another thing that I'll give with social media, you guys, it's another thing is that you want to be the distributor that you want to attract. Your clients are going to do every single thing that you do on your social media. If you get up and make they sh your shake, they're going to get up and make their shake. I have a brand new distributor, Revordia, on here. She get up and make her shake because on my timeline, I get up and make my shake. So guess what my team does? They get up and make their shake and they post it on their timeline. If I post right now a picture of me at home like this with a book, <laughs> Whole team gonna post with a book. <laughs> the, my clients are gonna be like, Seven, I got that book. Oh my God, I just got the four agreements too. Can't wait to read it. And so then I'm gonna be able to have a conversation, right? But if I don't post nothing, guess what? Nobody's posting nothing. I have 15, 17, 15, 17, 17 new preferred members this month, mostly all from social media. Right? I'm showing you how easy it is to do this, but the interactions have to be higher on your page to attract new people. To show up where people can say to follow you. And I would say if you don't post at all, your goal right now should be posting three times per day. It sounds like a lot, but now you have a post bank. You have things to choose from. And what you can do, what makes it easier is, we all in the house, so I don't even know what could be easier than this, but plan out a content day, right? Plan out a content day. If you see a post on Instagram, and this is what I did to grow my Herbalife business. I follow my favorite Herbalifers that got good pages. If I see a post that they did, I saved it. And on my content day, which was Sunday at the time, I would go and retake those pictures in my own way. And then I would have all my pictures for the whole week. Does that make sense? So your content day is, if you do the business part-time, meaning I don't have time to do this. This is my days where I'm going to save up every picture. I'm gonna take every picture that I need to post all week. And then my story will be what I'm doing in my day to day. Does that make sense to everybody? So on my content day, that means I'm gonna go save. I have a picture of um, Unstoppable Fit Couple. She's at a table with her legs crossed with a robe on, a tea in her hand and a book in her hand. I'm going to go retake that picture on Sunday. And then I'm going to already go and place the picture in my drafts. I'm going to type out a caption. And then when it's Monday and I need to post, I'm going to go just post a draft. 
Does that make sense to everybody? So what we're doing first is deciding whatever the content day is, the day where you want to get real cute, you know, maybe do your makeup, maybe be able to do your skincare routine. And then I'm going to take those pictures on that day. You already have them saved. Get some ideas. Go follow your favorite Instagrammers. Take all my pictures off my page if you want to. Mimic them. Take the captions too if you need to. Make it yourself. But then I'm going to find a day to take the pictures and then I'm going to post them. Cool? And then the last thing, you guys, is Instagram stories. Your most clients will come from your unboxing in Instagram stories. So you want to make sure that you're unboxing on your page. I just got my Herbalife package. These are the products I use at home. If you haven't been able to um, afford Herbalife products recently, cool. Unbox the products that you already have. Put them back in the box, right? Unbox them. Nobody knows that they didn't just come in the mail. Unbox them yourself. And you can either make them into an Instagram TV, because people can always go and watch those. You can tell your 30-second story on there, because people always are going to go watch Instagram TVs. Um, you can explain how you got started on the products, your journey, so that you can be relatable. And last thing is just have fun, you guys. Have fun. Nobody wants to follow somebody that's not fun. Of course, make it an appropriate fun, but just find some way that you can have fun where people will be like, I really want to be a part of what you're doing. I didn't know what, like, I think it's called like a horchata or something. Anna Rosa's posted it, and I was like, what is that? I want one of those. I don't even think that I like it. But whatever, she act like it's so good, I want one. And then she was talking to me about it, and I'm like, what are you And I'm you like, you haven't seen about? the horchata on Anna Rosa's page, right? That's what you want your page to be. Have you seen the, the so-and-so on Kayla's page yet? Have you seen the whatever? If you go on Stefan's page, have you seen that crazy shirt Stefan got on today? Annie, look. That's what you want from your page. This beautiful Herbalife person doing the business all types of ways. Make it fun. Make it relatable. Does anybody have any questions that we didn't? Oh, leave off Wait. with the oh, three yeah. C's. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I have to say before seven closes off. And then, of course, if y'all have questions, if you don't follow Ste I thought that said, if you don't follow Stefan, please don't follow <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> Dang, Kayla. Don't follow him. Um, don't follow him. <laughs> no, for real. No, but um, what I was going to say was, um, this is actually isn't, well, I guess it's social media, but it's more so follow, it's a little bit of follow-up and social media, y'all, because she was talking about the unboxing thing and something that we'll share that we do is we encourage our clients to post on social media too. So when we're doing our follow-ups, um, I always tell my clients when they're, when they get a new box, they're excited about their products. Girl, you're excited about your products. Great. Please post an unboxing video on your story and tag me. It's part of my follow-up and it's also part of me building my own social media and building them as a distributor before they even are a distributor. It's like a three win type of thing. Okay. So I'm always saying, um, but, um, oh, you should post your workout today on your social media. Don't forget to tag me. Like, because it's, it's one enrolling people who are liking somebody who's working out. They are going to post and say, that's my coach. That's my coach then I'm already getting the referrals without even them referring, blah, 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 cool. And if they're ready for the business, if I see that they're like, oh my God, girl, I had some money. So many people reply to my story, great. Then I'm getting on the phone with them. I'm teaching them the marketing plan in less than 10 minutes. Moral of the story is do whatever you're doing. You can encourage your clients to do it too and preparing them for becoming a distributor as well. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, and then one thing that we didn't touch on was Saving time. Seven just told, talked about saving time with your posts, right? And making sure that you have content to post. Same thing with the um, poll follow-ups, the like follow-ups, the responses that you're going to give. Go save them. I know there's plenty of apps that we can save them in. Um, I tried the app thing. It didn't really work for me. Again, do it, what's best for you. I have everything in my notes. It says weight gain poll follow-up, weight loss poll follow-up. Anybody can ask me right now, any do you got a follow-up for uh, whatever? And I'll be like, yep, business opportunity follow-up. Da, 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 da. Save everything. Don't waste your time. Work smarter, not harder. Like really think of new ways to work smarter. When someone replies to me, I already have the message that says, we can sign you up as a preferred member. Like I already have that typed out. It's very short. However, it's going to be much, much easier for me to just copy and paste such a short message 
um, that it's still like not like I talked about earlier, super long. Oh my God, super overdrawn out, but something super quick. Save your own time and be prepared. Be prepared because if you leave somebody on red, I promise you they will go somewhere else. Slow feet, don't eat. <laughs> Get back to them people quick and smartly. Now I'm going to pass this to seven so you can close this out. Don't forget to type any chat, I mean, uh, questions in the chat if y'all have any so we can get them at the end of the call. Yeah, slow feet, don't eat. We actually lose clients to each other. It's actually pretty fun. Like, hey, you went to sleep? Ha ha, stayed up and DM got the client that talked to both of us. <laughs> but um, that's like a real thing. I don't think nobody else has to do that. But like, we really have to go through that thing. Um, but um, we want to just leave off with the three deadly seeds of social media business in general. And you guys, you can relate a lot of these things too. If you have a nutrition club, you can satellite club, you can relate these things to your club pages too. Um, Peach Drop has grown to over 5,000 followers very quick just off of being very relatable on social media. Um, so the three deadly seeds is, uh, I learned this on GoPro and I think it's very important, is for one is no cheesy communication. Um, and cheesy communication is who wants to lose weight and earn income while doing it? I'm saying cheesy because it's just like lead with love. Make it make sense. Make it passionate. What do you want to do? Lead with love and gratitude. I'm so grateful for this Herbalife opportunity. I've been able to do this. I am now blah, 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 blah. For instance, if I was Christina, I didn't know I was going to be able to earn $750 last month. It made me see that I want to be able to do dental hygiene part time. I, it's so amazing to be able to go on this journey. Who wants to join me? Because I'm bringing you into my life. I'm not making it seem like you're signing up for some salesy type of thing. So the cheesy communication is just sounding like a salesman. Like, are you a lifesaver or a salesman? And if you're a salesman, switch it. Because we don't sell the products. We're paid storytellers. We, pay, we, we tell our stories and we earn income from it. So you don't want to come off as that cheesy person like, uh, she tried. For instance, somebody tried to get me to sign up as Nutriverse last night, right? She DM'd me. She was just like, hey, I would love to work with you. I love your page so much. Your page is so great. I, I think you'll be a great asset to my team. And I said, how? And the reason why I said cheesy communication is if she looked at my page, she would know that I'm an Herbalife coach. So then I said, how? You know, I, and then she was just like, I just love the content. And I said, which content? And so then when she went to explain, she was, I just think it would be so great. I said, well, I'm an Herbalife coach. And then she was like, oh, well, I do another MLM that you would be great for, right? But that's cheesy communication because now I wouldn't talk to you anything regarding anything because it's cheesy. It, it sounds fake. I love the content on your page. Like, what? Who says that? You get what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even sound like you would say that if you were in person. So no cheesy communication. Number two is no cutting to the chase. Cutting to the chase means offering commission without permission. Offering commission without permission. So cutting to the chase meaning right now, oh my God, you lost your job, come sign up with me. I can help you make some money right now. I just lost my job. I don't want you to put it in my face that I just lost my job. And now you're telling me I lost my job and that you can help me. But not really like that. Like. <laughs> No, you know, so no commission without permission, meaning that you want to be inviting enough to lead with love and then bring people into what you're asking them to do. So no cutting to the chase, meaning no, none of that. Hey, earn money with me today. Like, what am I actually, what are you bringing to help me? And before offering the business opportunity, before offering people to help earn income, actually get permission from them in some sort of way meaning that they're allowing the conversation. Meaning that you've had a post on your page that had some type of call to action, and then you comment and say, hey girl, I just got your comment. I would love to have you on the team. Would you like to learn about what I do? Does that make sense? Versus me DM diving somebody like, girl, I just seen your story, you lost your job. That's crazy. Every life is essential business though, so you'll never lose your job. Like what? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't, like, we, we say it, and I, we sit here like everybody laughing, but we all know. <laughs> we all know, you get what I'm saying? So just making sure that you have permission. And then the other thing is don't lead with cash. The last deadly C is leading with cash. Like, see, y'all heard Steven say it, y'all heard Super say it. No weird stuff. You'll make, you don't know how much nobody will make. We don't know. We honestly don't know how much you'll earn with this um, Herbalife income opportunity. Um, so that means leading with cash will turn people off. 
So you want to, and this is going to sound a little, but let's Y'all ever seen the post that's like 500 to $5,000? I can make your $500 turn to 5000 That's almost what it sounds like from y'all when we say We sound like, like the people that be like, anybody got a Chase account? <laughs> like that's, that's what we come off as. You know, anybody got a Chase account? I could turn $100 into 1000 right now. <laughs> like, so we want to not necessarily leave with like the cash scammer talk. Um, as far as making sure that you're leading with love and turning people on and not off. A turnoff is, hey, I can help you make some money right now versus, right, can I flip your money? Like, I can flip your $94 investment. Like, I can't. I actually can't. So we want to lead with love. This is what the opportunity has done for me. I would love for you to join me. Would you like to learn about how you can start designing your life? Earning extra income. Earning extra income, not make money. Not, hey, who want to make $500? And I used to post it. I would be like, hey, who would like to make $500? Da, 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 da. And the, peop the responses I got back was just as scammy as it sounded. <laughs> like, it was really, it was really weird. Like, I, they got on the call and they're like, girl, I ain't trying to do no products, but what else you got for me to make some money? Like, you know, like, that's not the person that I want to attract. So leading with um, compassion and lead with empathy with the open heart, meaning that you're connecting with people so that they can let their guard down. So the best option so that we can avoid the three deadly C's is connecting with people so that they let they, their guard down and let you in. And when I say let your guard down, meaning I should be able, the, the conversation should get to the point where I tell you that I lost my job. You ever got that DM that say, that's so crazy. I've been looking for another way to earn money because I got furloughed from my job. And I'll give you guys an example of a preferred member that I have. I invited her, you know, she came onto the call and stuff like that. She did a challenge. I invited, I seen on her, like her posts and stuff that she didn't, like she lost, like she was going to be at home for a second, right? But again, no cheesy communication. I didn't want to say, do you want to earn income from home or none of that? I said, hey, how are you doing? right? Hey, how are you doing? So from that, hey, how are you doing? She's like, oh, seven stuff is all over the place. Da, 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 blah, 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 blah. And so I said, have you had your shake today? Right? The reason why I want to know if you've had your shake today is because I just want to know if you're feeling good. Like, how are you feeling where your mindset is? Because we feel different after we had our products. Like, and I, I become relatable. I was having a crazy day. I had to make sure I had some tea to get my mind right. Cool? So after that, we get into a conversation. She's like, yeah, my results are so bomb. Is that in the third? I'm going to have a lot of time to work out now because I just got furloughed from my job, so I'll be home. And I'll have more time to work out, but I don't really know if I can afford more products. So then what do I do? Well, you know we're having an open house. You already have some bomb results because now I have permission because you, I related with you, so you connect with me. I have permission. We have an open house tonight if you want to see about how you can earn some extra income because you already have some bomb results and you can earn income with them sharing the products with your friends and family. So then what does that mean? No cheesy communication. I'm telling you what we're doing. And then I didn't say an amount. I didn't say, you know, you can earn $500. That'll replace that job you had anyway. Like I didn't say an amount. And so then when she signed up as a distributor, she, we now connect on a different level because she's like, oh, well, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity. I didn't even know I was gonna be able to earn income from my results. Of course, I would love to sign up. But that's connecting with people with the open heart so that they be able to let their guard down to be able to talk to you about joining your team. Because people wanna see how they can bring it into their life because I'm not gonna, you ever heard somebody say, well, I can't do Herbalife because I'm not a salesman. If somebody has told you that, you may come off as a salesman and we have to switch that. So that's what we wanted to lead with, which is the um, three deadly seeds and just show people that you've walked in their shoes before. That's what your Instagram is for. Showing people that you've walked in their shoes before, that you're not perfect, but that they can believe that they can be extraordinary just like you. Right? That's what your journey. That they can be, you've walked in their shoes before and that they can be extraordinary just like you. Relatable. I was here, I have came here. Um, so for Ashley, the three deadly C's are no cheesy communication, number one, no cutting to the chase, number two, and no leading with cash, number three. Does anybody have any type of questions that we can answer real quick?
Um, if not, are y'all just ready to go? Y'all ready to change y'all social, social media around? Media. Flip the flip the switch. Who already posted that they was on the call? If you haven't already, just go ahead and you know post real quick. Hosting with the team, you know, like real quick little boomerang, like oh my god, coaching with so and so, da 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 da. You don't have to tag them, but you know, you just be like real quick, training real quick, still working from home, being super relatable, like oh my god, blah 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 blah. There you go, dude. You got it. Everybody good? Uh, Katie, you can uh, um, what you want to type? I'm about to unmute you. I think maybe, maybe so, maybe not. Oh wait, you have to start your video. Or you can just type it in the chat. Can someone send me a picture? I'm on my phone. No, Tiana, we cannot. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about anything whatsoever? Um, or, like, actually, you can just go ahead. Katie, you're unmuted. Hi. How you doing? Hey, girl. Hey, so I do have a question um, with the because I kind of came in the meeting late. Um, I got the three C's and everything. Um, when it came to the Instagram post, when you guys was talking about posting, um, maybe um three to more, <clears throat> excuse me more times a day. I have not um, I have not purchased any more um products because um financially I can't right now. What is some other things that I can post? Because I have my results as well as other people's results, and I have the previous shakes that I have made. And food and food, um, like meal preps that I've made as well. Is there other things that you guys, you know, I could think that you can think of that I can post? Because sometimes, like, I'll like substitute like a Herbalife shake for like just a fruit shake and be like, since I don't have like this for Herbalife, I do, you know, make my own like smoothies and shakes at home, but with fruit and yogurt and protein and everything that Herbalife has to offer. But I just don't have like the actual, you know, jar and smoothie and everything. Okay, so what we're what we're doing right now, I know you're super neat, new to the team, so welcome to the team. Um, we're going to, this is recorded, so you're going to get that answer in the beginning of this. Um, so when this is dropped, just make sure that you go and you take out pen and paper, sit up, and take notes on the video. Um, that way you can get your answers to your questions, okay, Katie? And don't worry. If you don't have your product yet, we can retail it. You're brand new to the team, literally three days in and you already have three distributors. So you're doing a lot, <laughs> trust me, you're doing a lot right. Don't be discouraged. Look, everybody face on the call like, what? Three distributors already? By Sunday, yeah, it's been three days, I gotta catch up. But you're doing a lot right. We'll definitely drop the recording so that you can see the beginning of the call. Um, uh, what are your impressions and your insights showing you? I'll go over that first. Your insights and your impressions are basically seeing what people are interacting with your page. Is your page interactable? Meaning that are, are people like actually clicking on your things? Are they commenting on your things? Are they, are they sharing your posts to other people? So that's what your impressions and your insights will show and you always wanna make sure they show a positive. So if they show a negative, that means that less people are looking at your page, going to your page for inspiration, et cetera. Um, do you know what's worthy of including on your highlights from your story? Um, personally, I would say to make sure that you map out like what it is. Per I have on there like some of my funnest like relationship moments. Sorry, I cannot look at myself like this. I have some of my funnest relationship moments, big events like your LDWs, extravaganza, your 30 second story is good to have on there. Um, I personally don't say workouts because at the end of the day, you want people to know, like, you're not a trainer. They can get your workouts, like, in your challenges and stuff like that and not have access to them daily from your Instagram page. Um, but that's just a personal opinion. And then also you can just highlight maybe, like, your family, your fun, highlight some of your favorite products. Um, and as well, you can have, like, some before and afters there at the end. But your highlights should be, like, some of your best days ever and your funnest time. Also, don't forget, like she said earlier, go to your pages that you like. Go look at those highlights from the, the pages of the um, Instagrammers, quote unquote, that you actually like, the herbalizers that you like. And same thing, mimic it. What do you like about their highlights? Oh, they have X, Y, Z. They have this. Cool. Let's mimic it. Um, of course, just make it your own thing. Um, Tiana, you can ask your question. Type it whenever you're ready. And did, 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 Larissa's question. Yes, you can post a screenshot. I see it all the time. Um, Definitely post a screenshot of it. And maybe when you get off the call, go talk about it. 
What did you like about the call? The fact that maybe Herbalife has free trainings once you sign up as a distributor and you just got X, Y, Z and you're about to build your business and whatever the case may be, like, go talk about it. Go share about that tonight if you can. Um, that's what I would suggest too, as far as everyone who's screenshotting and posting about the call. What about the call? What, what makes it screenshot worthy? You know? I think that we good on the questions. If y'all have any questions, Make sure that y'all ask. Um, y'all know we're always ready to give out what we got. Um, and don't forget that the recording will be dropped if you missed a part or whatever the case may be. Go back, listen to it, um, and let's grow these social medias if that's going to be a business tool that it's you It's always a great add-on to everything. A hundred percent, because guess what? It's free. And if, you, if you're not on like our personal teams, please reach out to your upline tab and we will be able to drop it um, directly to them so that they can drop it to you guys. Perfect. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was fire, no cap. Oh, period. Steven! I'm smoking you in top box.